Hello, welcome everybody. Welcome back to OnlineEnglishTeacher.com, the YouTube channel. My name is Michael. And today we're going to be learning about effect and effect. So there's two types of mistakes that students make with regards to effect and a, an effect. <clears throat> the first one is the punctuation, right? People often say these things at the same time, then they punctuate them the same. So this is effect, right? We've got a effect, and this is effect, right? And another problem that I see people make is that they use the meanings incorrectly, right? So effect, which is a verb, means to produce an effect or change, right? So you're making a change into something. You're turning one thing into another, right? So for example, the weather. Let me get my highlighting tools. Nope, this one. The weather has affected, let's use yellow, it has affected his mood. <clears throat> so the weather has, has made a change in that person's mood, right? So note that the mood has changed due to the weather, right? So that's an effect. An effect is to produce a change, right? So effect is a noun and a verb, right? So effect the end result. It's the result of what has been affected, right? When you're trying to produce something, right? This is the end result, right? This is when it's finished, right? As an example, the effects of the train made him get wet. Oh, the effects of the rain made him get wet, right? Effects can also be used as a verb too, right? So it's a verb and a noun. Usually effect to change, usually to affect change, right? So this is change that has not been changed. This is change, or this is change that hasn't been changed or affected, right? So this means that it's it's something that you want, but it may not change, right? Something that you want affected, but uh, to turn into an end result, but it may or may not happen. So for example, Michael hoped that the president would affect change in his country, right? We were the end result would be effect change in the country. Hold on, that is my highlighting tool. Would be effect change in the country, right? We're only talking about one thing here. This is one thing, right? This is just one. Or I hope that something changes, right? While with affected, the one above, we have two things. We have the weather making a change on somebody's mood, right? So there's two things. Same thing with the example one here on effect, the effect of the rain made him wet. We're only talking about one thing, right? The end result made him wet. So let's go through some visual examples. effect, right? This is a change, right? To change. And then effect is the result or end result, right? What has happened here? What do you guys notice? What's going on with number one? What's happening with number one or with effect? Right? The lightning has struck the tree. 
right? And it changed the tree into this, right? The effect was that the lightning had burnt the tree, right? This is the end result of the tree right here. And now the tree is mostly dead. Okay. Now let's go with this example. What do you think this one might be? Is this effect or effect? What do you guys think, right? What's happening here? He looks happy, right? What do you guys notice? First of all, he looks pretty happy, right? We also see, I think we see rain right here. That's something that we notice is there's rain. He's happy, there's rain, right? That's how many things is that? That's two things, right? Happy, rain, right? Those are two things. Okay. And what about number two? What do we notice about number two? Let me say his mood has changed. He's wet. Wet. His mood has changed, right? He's wet and his mood has changed. Is this the end result? Or the or or a change has or or a change was put into effect. Is this the end result for number two? Or is this something that's changing right now? Then if you said number two or number one that it is the end result, then you're correct. This would be effect. Right, and this would be effect, right? So let's go back again. Remember, effect is to produce a change or effect. Effect is an end result, right? Even with, even when effect is a verb, it's also about an end result, something that you want to be the end result of something. Right? You're not changing anything. You're just saying this will be the end result. Okay, so that's it for today's lesson. Remember, please like and comment and subscribe to this channel. All right? If you'd like to see any more videos like this, please leave a comment down below. I hope to see you guys soon, and take care. Bye-bye.